So we're a little late today because Jason and I were stuck in Florida until very early this morning. But we got back and we're going to go ahead and do our Sunday school lesson. So today we're gonna hear a story about a special day in the church, a day that we call Pentecost, mm -hmm. okay? Our story is based upon the book of Acts, chapter two, verses one through 41. The disciples were waiting together in a house in Jerusalem. Suddenly a sound like a howling fierce wind filled the entire house. <gasps> The disciples looked around to see what was happening. They saw little flames of fire on each of them. It was the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, that would be with them always. The disciples began to speak other languages. and They spoke about all of the great things that God had done. You can see the little fires above each person's head. I think you can't really see them in the... Oh, are the, those are the shadows. Mm -hmm. Those are the shadows. Ooh. People outside the house heard the noises coming from inside the house. What's happening, the people wondered. Some people were confused. What does all of this mean, they asked. Peter spoke to the people. God has sent the Holy Spirit to us. This is what you have seen and heard. The people listened to Peter as he told them about Jesus. Peter encouraged the people to believe in Jesus and to be baptized. The Holy Spirit would be given to you, or will be given to you, Peter told the people. Many of the people believed Peter's words. 3,000 people were baptized and became followers of Jesus that day. So on that day of on that day of Pentecost, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus. Oh, wow. Think about that. Sometimes there's only, like, only one a day, sometimes even zero. Wow. Maybe where? You talking about just in general? Yeah. Okay. All right. So in the story, how do you think people felt when they heard the wind? Have you ever heard a howling wind? Scared. Does the wind scare you? A howling wind scare you? Uh -huh. It depends. And if there's a real big storm coming. Yeah. Or if it's, it's just a, yeah. wind. And maybe they're like, hey, what's that? If, if it was just, if all there was was wind, like, what there, is I would that? be like, what is that? Like, confused. Maybe they were just confused. I don't know. So what would you, how would you feel if a flame appeared above my head? Scared. Would that scare you? Warm. You might feel warm. So what, Riley, what if you were looking at Jackson and you saw this little flame above his head? Would you ask him about it? Scared. Would you ask him? Would you be like, um, you've got fire on your head. Uh, you're maybe, on fire. You're on fire. And maybe try to put it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd go get a, I'd go get a, buck, a cup of water. <laughs> on her head. Okay. <laughs> so in the story, what happened? I would just blow it out. Do you remember in the story what happened? I know, I know, I know. The people heard them all talking about this. I know, I know. And and they said, What's going on? They in said, there? What's going on? And then what happened? They the um there was a they started um, speaking different languages and talking about God around the world so the the people who experienced the fire started telling others about him about god right yeah yes. and how he serves um and what's it called uh us, us. and how he gives Serve. us forgiveness and serves us yeah and also he heals us mm -hmm. so and then a lot of people came to know god because of that right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call the day of Pentecost. And if he didn't make like these houses, like windows and, and houses and lights, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff and picture frames and stuff like that, we wouldn't really, we wouldn't 
be here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you remember what it was called? Many people were, many people came to know God. Do you mm -hmm. remember what that was called? It, um, serving God. Well, they were baptized. baptized. Yeah, do you remember that? So many baptized. people were baptized on Pentecost. Mm -hmm. And they met and they worshiped together. God. And they shared God's love. And they also told, and they started speaking new languages mm -hmm. and talking to people across the world about God mm -hmm. and how he serves. Mm -hmm. And so then they also came together and they started church. They started yeah. a church long ago. And we still have church today, don't we? Yes. And we probably will on forever. Mm hmm yeah so God gave us church uh -huh. and he also and he made it fun too mm -hmm. he did make it fun it is fun so if it was just like reading about God it wouldn't be that well it would be good <laughs> that we weren't learning about God but it wouldn't be that fun for kids, um, maybe for kids that much. Oh, but whenever so they get it, make good. the stories mm -hmm. fun and for kids, mm -hmm. it, they get more and, interactive. And it okay. makes and you get to make pictures of him. Okay. So maybe when today when we pray, we need to thank God for giving us church yeah. and giving us friends at church mm -hmm. and making church fun. I want to pray. Okay. I'll pray too. Thank you, God, for giving us friends to go together with. And thank you for making us have families. And thank you for giving us church to remember you. And, and thank you for making it fun and making us all learn about you. And, Amen. Thank, and thank you for um, giving us food to eat and and also, and also our, our trust and heart. Amen. 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 All right, guys, you have a Bye. great week. Bye.